Hi, I'm H Extraordinaire, and I'm coming to you. And that's the Crunchyroll Collection to watch uh, the Mo Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn V0096. What does that mean? I don't know. Into the sky we go with opening one. Um, the only thing I know about this is that the uh, Unicorn Gundam can like make itself intangible and do things. I, I'm this. I only know what I know from mobile, mobile, not mobile so Dynasty Warriors Gundam Three. So that's that's it. I mean, I watched some of the movies and yeah, but that's it. And I remember watching the one with Damon Cashew, but I was too young to remember. Any, I'm too young to. I was too young to remember anything. So yeah. Kind of slow. Not necessarily a bad thing though. Wait a second. Oh no. No, I don't think Amaro's in here. Full frontal. I wish I had my lighter on here. I see full frontals mech. Mech. I remember using that one. Ha, uh, good times. Both of them actually. I, I had one or two. Is this a sad Gundam? I feel like there's there's a strong romance plot in here. Ah, yes, yes. Yes. Watch it on Crunchyroll. Yeah, do it. I mean, I'm going to link it to Crunchyroll anyway. From what I get from the opening, there's a pretty big romance plot. Also, I'm, I'm, is Amuro a part of this in any way? Is the main character related to Amuro? Kind of hope I know I know that the main character for this kind of looks like him, but I don't know if he is in any way related to Amuro. Does Amuro ever show up? Well, I think he might show up in some of the other ones. I don't know. I don't know. I know there's like a huge, a bunch of time, different timelines. That's a lot. Gundam, there's a lot for Gundam, but yeah, the visuals were nice. They didn't really show a lot. Like, it showed characters, but they weren't like the main focus. The mo the main focus were mostly like the Gundams and the individuals, the mobile. I don't know what to call them. The Robies. But yeah, it was good. It looked nice. Uh, it's kind of slow. Not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it was a good song. It was a good song. Not one that I was expecting, but I welcomed it. If I were to give it a grade, I would give it an A. When did I start grading things? What am I, a teacher? Opening two, re, I am. I'm pretty sure this series is probably a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, a reboot of an older Gundam, right? I'm pretty sure. I mean, it has re in the title, so I'm guessing, yeah, it's a reboot of a, t of, of a Gundam that was released in 90, the year 1996, maybe? I'm probably wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there was an old Gundam that... An old, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I'm pretty sure there was one before this that was older. I don't know. Let's get to opening two. Maybe it's just like ReZero. It's like, oh, Re. just has Re in the title because of time travel. Oh, well, I, I, whatever, it doesn't matter. He's talking. I've never seen this guy before. 
But is it another unicorn model? I don't know. This feels like it's a little bit more my style. Damn. Some good visuals. Is that his? No, not that one, but that one, the other one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How's the face? Is this going to get a copyright strike? Because I think I recognize these people. Is this you foldable? Is you foldable responsible for this? I think that is the love interest. Damn. Oh, that's tense. That's a big boy. All right, well, that gave me goosebumps. Yeah, that gave me goosebumps. It. I think this is ufotable. I hope this doesn't get a copyright strike. No, artist is Amir. Oh, okay. I feel like they've done work on, on the Fate series, so it makes me kind of suspicious. I, I feel like there's a copyright strike looming in the distance no matter what you do. <laughs> All right, whatever. So first thing I gotta say about this one, the visuals, freaking beautiful. It looks, it looks, it's like, I feel like it's the perfect mixture of 2D and 3D, which makes me think that Ufotable is responsible for this for some reason, because they tend to be pretty good with that stuff. But no, I think, I don't know, it just reminds me of that one, the visuals kind of remind me of this uh, one God Slayer. Bungo Slayer? I don't know. But yeah, it reminds me of uh, another anime that was around a while ago. Visual's pretty good. Color's amazing. Uh, there's a lot of 3D stuff in here, but it's not the type of 3D animation where it's like, oh, you notice it right away. No. 3D animation, like, the, the good one is the... The good, the good type of 3D animation is the one that you don't notice. CG. CG. Because if it's fully 3D, you don't really need to bother blending everything in. But no, if you, you're able to mix in 2D and 3D together without it being, without it standing out so much, then you're doing a good job. This song I liked a little bit more than the other one. The first one was good. It was good. Not 100% my style, but it was good. This one though, this one gave me goosebumps. It was a good song. It was so good, it's probably going to give me a copyright strike. Damn it. <laughs> I feel it. It's looming in the corner. I can feel it. My spidey senses are tingling. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have much to say about it. Um, although that question, my question, my previous question still stands. Is Amaro somehow related to the main character? Because I feel like he might be. Is the main character Am No, I know it's not Amaro. I know the character has a different name because they play that one game. I'd probably enjoy this anime. Also, I forgot to mention Full Frontal. I feel like they probably won't reveal the identity of Full Frontal in this anime. I just got a flashback to Toonami. Oh, yeah, no, this is definitely a reboot. Yeah, I just got a flashback. I think the original one was on Toonami because I remember Full Frontal or someone that looked like Full Frontal. Who knows? I f <sighs> is Full Frontal Shar Aznabal? His, is his identity never been revealed? I'm just stuck on the first Gundam. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go before I go off on like a billion other tangents that have nothing to do with this series. Hi, this is H Extraordinary. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, click the bell icon because YouTube makes you do like three steps.
four steps. Give wait, wait, wait till YouTube makes another random decision that nobody's gonna like. Wait for it. Wait for it. I mean, what? YouTube never done anything wrong. I'm gonna go.